Okay, and these problems we're going to be working with the angles of parallelograms and trapezoids, but these problems we're going to have to solve by factoring. So the first problem we're given is talking about a parallelogram, PQRS, and you could just draw yourself any parallelogram. So there's my parallelogram. You can start P anywhere, just go in order, so PQRS, and let's label your picture. So PQ is x squared minus 10, and then SR is 3x. These are opposite sides of a parallelogram, so we know that they're going to be equal, so we're going to set them equal to each other. So remember, anytime you have a problem with x squared, we want to set to 0, leave the x squared where it is, and move everything else over. So I need to subtract that 3x. So on this side, I have 0. These cannot be combined. They are not like terms, so I'm going to go ahead and... Just rewrite it, but write it in order, x squared minus 3x minus 10. Now we have to factor this. So remember, we have to look for two numbers and multiply to negative 10, but add up to the negative 3. And the only number, one's going to be a positive, one's a negative. The only numbers that work are going to be negative 5 and positive 2. They multiply to negative 10, add up to negative 3. And remember, these numbers are going to be the numbers that we put in the parentheses here. So this is how it factors. Okay. Now we have to solve for x. So I have x plus 2 equals 0, x minus 5 equals 0, so minus 2 minus 2, x equals negative 2, and then x equals 5, because we can add 5. Okay. Let's try the next one. Very similar. Okay, again, another parallelogram, and PQRS, same thing, you can just draw the same picture. This time I'm giving you an angle, so the angles, remember, on the inside. So there's P, and Q is 11X. Okay, if you remember about angles, the angles that are next to each other, so notice these are not diagonal, so the ones that are next to each other, remember, will add up to 180. So this equation is going to be, if I add them together, it's equal to 180. But I'm going to solve this the same way, right? We need to set to 0, so I want to move that 180 over. So I have x squared plus 11x minus 180 equals 0. We're going to do the same type of factoring that we did above. Okay, and let me get rid of this. So I need two numbers that multiply to negative 180, but add up to positive 11. And take a while to find those numbers, but the only numbers that work are going to be 20 and negative 9. Multiply it to negative 180, add to 11. So let's set up our parentheses, x plus 20, x minus 9 equals 0. And then remember, take each one set to 0. So minus 20 minus 20, so x equals negative 20 is 1. And then add 9, add 9, x equals 9 is the other one. So there's two x's, but look at the question. It's not asking you to find the x's. It wants you to find the measures of the angles. Okay, let's start with measure of angle. Uh, first one's p. Okay, measure of angle p is going to be x squared. So if I take the number and square it, okay, if I take negative 2 and square it, that will give me 4. So that's one possibility. If I take 9 and square it, that will give me 81. So notice you have two possibilities, okay. Measure of angle Q, okay, but notice that Q is 11x. So if you do 11 times negative 2, you're going to get a negative number. So this negative 2 actually can't exist because it doesn't make sense to make an angle negative. So that means we, we really can't use that for this one either. So 81 is the only one there. So now if I plug in the 9 though, I get 99 degrees. So those are your only angles. Okay. Okay. Let's try the last one. Same thing. Draw yourself the parallelogram to start. Label your picture. Okay, so I've got, again, PQRS. P is, we're talking about the angle, so the inside, 8y plus 2. R is over here, y squared minus 18. 
Okay, notice these two angles are diagonal from each other. So what do we know about angles diagonal on a parallelogram? They are equal. So these two, we want to set them equal to each other. So there's that. Again, anytime you see a problem with y squared, we want to set equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract the 8y, subtract the 2, subtract the 8y, subtract the 2. I have 0 here. I have y squared minus 8y. But notice these numbers are like terms. I can combine them, so that's going to give me a negative 20. So again, need two numbers that multiply to negative 20, but add up to negative 8. Uh, the only numbers that work are going to be t negative 10 and positive 2. So my factored form is y minus 10, y plus 2 equals 0. Solve for each y. Okay, there's my two y's. But notice what the question is asking. Find the measure of angle Q. But we, the problem did not ask us, it did not give us the measure of angle Q. So notice, this is what it's asking, but I don't have this angle. So what you can do is you can plug in the numbers into any of the other angles. It doesn't matter. I'm going to plug it into here. So if I plug in 10 in for Y here, I can find the measure of angle P, which is going to be 8 times 10 plus 2, which is 82 degrees. Notice if I plug in a negative 2, it's going to make it a negative number, so that number doesn't make sense. But if I know measure of angle P is 82 degrees, what do we know about angle Q? One of the things that we learned about angle Q the two angles that are next to each other have to add up to 180. So if I do 180 minus 82, this will give me 98 degrees. So that's my answer.